Hello, uh, another presentation from Crafty Notions. I'm Sarah Lawrence and I'm going to show you how to do faux enamelling on a previously gilded surface. If you need to look at how to gild, then look at some of the other YouTube presentations. What you need for this is a previously gilded surface, a stamp, this is one of the Carantha stamps from Crafty Notions, one of a range of several unique uh, designer um, created stamps, D-Petch that are useful for all sorts of other um, processes. I'm using Stazon, um, but another archive link will work as long as it's permanent. And I'm tapping the ink onto the stamp, placing the Stazon back in, and as you know, the solvent-based inks, you really should put the cover um, back on to the ink to make sure they don't dry out too quickly. And then um, place your stamp onto your previously gilded um, surface. And you can see I've got a, an acrylic here where I've got two stamps, one um, on the back as well, um, which is also a Carantha stamp. So I've pressed it on and it's beautifully printed onto both the gilded surface and the um, plain cardstock surface. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the Crafty Notions colour glazes and take the top off and you can see these are well used so I'm just taking some of the residue off and on the gilded surface I'm just placing some of the colour onto the printed area to identify and enhance some of the more um, petal-like parts of the design. This glaze will dry in about 10 minutes, but what it leaves is um, a faux enamel surface, which is beautiful, dazzling, and definitely adds that professional look to any um, altered art or card projects that you may have in mind.